Hi, my name is Steve Daniels and welcome to another episode of Soundorg TV. This week we're delighted to be joined by Max Maud from Fine Audio. Fine is a relatively new name in audio but has a wealth of experience and has won an incredible number of awards worldwide in a relatively short time. So we're going to find out about the company, the people, and what makes Fine Audio such an amazing product. Thanks for joining us on Soundorg TV today, from sunny Dallas to probably overcast Yorkshire. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, Fine's a relatively new name in the audio industry, but the guys behind Fine have a tremendous amount of experience. Could you tell us a little bit about the, the team, the company, and what brought Fine Audio together? Yeah, sure, Steve. No problem. Uh, how are you doing, first of all? Good, good to speak to you again. The, uh, yeah, the deal with Fine is we, we arrived at the situation uh, as recently as, as 2017 when we set Fine up as uh, men of a certain age, friends, really. And we had a little bit of a dream which evolved and, you know, we... We, uh, we put the band together uh, and it's just, it's been fantastic ever since. Max, can you tell us um, what sets Fine aside from some of the other companies on the market in terms of its technology? Yeah, sure, Steve. You know, the, 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 the passion we have for it as individuals, really, we, we feel sets us aside, but, but clearly the technology as well you know we're all very into this uh you know i was a musician before before i started working in hi-fi and so we're, we're still all very passionate about it you know we're, we are still big believers in point source technology uh and that is the you know the iso flare drive unit that we've developed it's uh it's not uh, a new technology as such but it's really we feel uh, it's a a reflection on mother nature in, in, in a lot of ways that you know the 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 source of the sound comes from one point a little bit like you're listening to my voice now it's coming from one area the time alignment and the clarity is fantastic the the point source uh technology really works uh we we believe in it and we also have other technologies uh like fine flute, which are the, the small serrations around the perimeter of the drive unit, the, the, the rubber surround, which helps terminate the unwanted uh, surface, uh, the cone energy. Uh, and, and one of my favorites as, as someone who has been a musician uh, playing lots of drum and bass for many years is the bass tracks diffuser in the bottom of the speak, which, which really helps tighten up and control those lower frequencies. Uh, it turns the plane wave energy into the you know 360 degree energy. An analogy I would give would be if you if you had a, a handful of, of rocks and you threw it into a still pond of water, it's it's a bit of a mess. But if you have just one stone and you throw it into a still, you know, some still water, the rings will radiate out from that central point. So it's 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 what we call isotropic radiation. So it's it's very uniform, it's very balanced and it's very controlled. So th these are just some of the technologies that Fine is developing. Max, let's talk about the entry level products, the 300 and 500 series, which we're always stunned by when we play them, at how good they sound for yeah. what, the, what they cost and they've won awards and great reviews all over the world. Can you tell us a little bit about how you get that sound in a fairly competitively priced product? This really is not our first rodeo. I think that's what you guys say in the, in, in the US. You know, we've all been doing this for a long time with, with many brands. The truth of the matter is, yes, I'm a sales guy that's actually going to tell the truth for once. The truth is at the entry level, uh, you know, more at the budget end of things, you've got a choice to make. Do you want to put, you know, do you want to spend the money on the inside, on the performance, or do you want to spend it on the outside? You, you really can't do both, no matter what marketing people will always try and tell you. You know, we, we think our 
300 and 500 series is still, you know, it has an elegant aesthetic. It's really quite nice. It's quite pleasing. It's not in any way challenging, but we've still steered the majority of the budget uh, onto the internals. And, and again, the, the press and the, you know, the support for these products has really shown that, you know, again, collectively we've got someone worked it out a few hundred years experience between the management team and you know dr paul mills has been developing speakers in this area for for decades you know he he recognizes the challenges you know he's always trying to optimize the performance we're always looking at new materials you know we've implemented fine flute on the drivers uh, even in the 300 series, we don't use an isoflare drive unit in the 300 series. You just, it's, they're just so expensive and complex to develop. We we can't uh, use an isoflare driver in the 300 series, but 500 series and upward, it's all it's all isoflare. But you know, the, even the crossover, you know, topology, you know, we, we, the components are carefully chosen uh, for the price point. We're not just taking standard off the shelf stuff. We're we're looking it. it every area you know we we look at every series that we make as, as a race car you know and and you know we will go toe to toe with the other brands in in the area we, we're always looking at what everyone else is is doing uh, we you know we love the challenge we love the competition it's a great thing well talking of the race car analogy um yeah. the special products the 501 has recently joined the 502 sp um yes which are kind of your hyper performance products in, the, in that range. Can you tell us um, what sets the SP versions apart from the standard ones and how do they fit into the range? Because obviously there, um, uh, some special tweaking is going on in those products. The idea in some ways came about from, uh, I was looking at one of my uh, one of my toys, one of my Ducatis, and they they call it a sport production. So it's a very special uh, motorcycle. So then I started thinking, you know, okay, special production, and maybe we can take what what we've got. So uh, it, some people would say maybe maybe the SP series is a is a part spin product because a lot of the product, you know, a lot of the components already exist. But it's very, it's very special uh, in the sense that we take the engine and the gearbox and the suspension, if you like, from the more expensive F700 series, but we're actually utilizing the bodywork or the chassis from the, from the very you know, well-received and aesthetically pleasing F500 series. So we decided to use the standard bodywork, but we've, we've borrowed uh, much more substantial uh, drive units uh, and components from you know from the from the premium F700 series. What started off being a little bit of we're going to borrow components from here, there, and everywhere to make a fantastic product. Actually, the, all the components are standalone now anyway. But it it fills the gap in price from where the F500 series ends to where the 700 series starts. There was just too big a jump. Talking of the F700 series, when you get to that, obviously, you now have a completely different finish, uh, yep. quality of construction, performance. It's a night and day from, from the other ranges. Could you give us an, uh, an inside look at what you've done to achieve that? Um, I know some of the components that you've put in are cryo cryogenically treated. The 700 series is where it really does start to get serious. Uh, and it's about the the cabinet. Obviously on the, you know, the SP series, which which we spoke about a moment ago, that ostensibly uses a, uh, an, an albeit improved uh, F500 series cabinet. It, it's improved, it has slightly better uh, wood, it's got more bracing inside, but the 700 series is, is a completely different deal. You know, it's a high density birch ply composite cabinet, uh, very expensive to make, uh, very, very strong. Uh, and it's it's exactly the same actually as our F, as our flagship F, F1 products at, uh, at the much higher price point. So 
it's more about the cabinet you know, apart from the fact it's it's a stunning thing to look at it's just it's just a work of art, you know, the 700 series. I, mean, I used uh, 703s myself, actually. It's just such a, such a killer product. I love it. Uh, but because of the, the, the technology uh, and the cabinet, you know, the price point does jump up a bit because these things are ex expensive to make. Finally, we get to the F1 as the pinnacle of what fine do at the moment. The F112. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I've been, like yourself, Steve, I've been selling a lot of speakers. I've heard a lot of stuff, you know, and the F112 is something special. I mean, we, as you as you probably know, we, we got the Stereo Sound Award in Japan on the F12s. And it's, it's just become a little bit of a, a landmark product, actually, is the F12. Uh, and that, that came after the F, F10. Uh, F110 or F112. The whole F1 series actually was, we called it F1 because two reasons, you know, it was the first product we ever developed, real flagship, you know, trickle down, start at the top uh, technology. So, and also doc, Dr. Paul Mills is a big F1 fan as well. I know, I know you guys are more NASCAR out there, but maybe, maybe we're more Formula One, but so F1, first product we made. Dr. Paul's a bit of an F1 nut, it just seemed to fit. So we developed the F1 project. Also you address home theater and um, in ceiling, in wall type products, LCRs. Yeah. So Fine has really rounded out to be a, a full scale manufacturer of all types of in-home speakers. Yeah, we, you know, we've we've started doing some CI stuff again. You know, we're, we're we're brand new. We're only sort of three, four years old, and we've been uh, how do I say? It? We've been fishing where the fish are so far. We've been playing to our strengths, and that's probably been more in the two-channel area. But we are now developing more, and you know, opening up uh, on the CI side. Uh, you know, I think what's interesting is would we in typical find fashion, we want to do things our own way. You know. The reason why Fine started in in the first place was we wanted to build our own race car. For once, we you know we became men of a certain age and we wanted to do it our way. So the CI stuff, we we are using exactly the same technology in you know the ceiling speakers that we use in you know the award-winning F300, F500 series. It's the same driver. Uh, there's a lot more to come. In that area, we've only really just started. Talk, talking of more to come, Max. What can we expect from Fine in the in the future? Anything you want to share with us today on Sandal TV? Well, I, th I shouldn't really mention it. The, the, the guys in the factory will kill me. I've, I promised I wouldn't mention it, but what you know, what the hell? They're dangerously, I, I will mention it. The the next product that's going to come out in the not too distant future uh, will be something called an F500 SP. So basically it will complete the trio of the of the SP products. You know, we, we started with the 502 SP. Uh, we've got the 501 SP in the last few months, but both of those obviously are towers. And so many people, so many people have been screaming at us, will you please do a, a bookshelf version of the 501 SP? So we're gonna do it, it will be called. 500 SP that'll be you know available around the summertime. We're also actually developing a specific stand, uh, which will be called an FS6 stand. So, so there'll be a bookshelf SP as well, uh, and it looks like it's going to be about half the price of uh, where the 501 SP is, plus obviously the stand as well, uh, which is developed to go with it. So, and if that is you know, anything like as successful as the, as the two towers, man, we really do need that bigger factory. Uh, so that's going to come out in the next few months, probably actually nearer four months, if I'm honest. Uh, and there's lots of other things in the plan for 2022. Thanks for sharing that scoop with us. We'll keep that within the industry. Um, to wrap up, Max, if you had yeah. 60 seconds to convince someone on why they should buy a fine speaker what would you say and your time starts now i only need five seconds go for a test drive that's it go, go and take the you know we'll what's 
what's it? We'll take the Pepsi challenge with anyone. Is, am I allowed to say that? We'll go toe to toe with anyone. Uh, go and have a listen. Go, go to your dealer. Uh, we think our integrity is fantastic. We think our technology is fantastic. Max, thanks so much for taking time with us today and explaining what makes Fine so special and why we're so glad to have it as part of our product portfolio in America. Thanks for all the support. Anytime, mate, and thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of Sound Org TV, and I hope you enjoyed the conversation with Max. Fine Audio are really making a name for themselves in the US, and we're looking for great things for this company in the future. Um, as always, if you have any comments or suggestions on the video or ideas for the future, please, please let us know. Um, I, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Now, I have to tell you that my son said that is the most uncool thing to do, and he was going to unsubscribe if I said that. So, shout out to Harry. Thank you, happy listening, and goodbye till next time.